from selection brought Jen Cox out to the street corner. She's a committed progressive who felt alone among her Republican neighbors until Democrat John Ossoff stepped into the fight for an open congressional seat. We've got progressive people very worried and angry about Trump's policies, and this is the only race that's on the national stage right now. Cox says Ossoff will win votes beyond Democrats looking for a win early in the Trump presidency. And that happens door by door, convincing this Trump supporter who says the campaign's efforts have secured her vote. Yes, I am. The Georgia 6 hasn't sent a Democrat to Congress since 1979. But the moderate voters here who gave Mitt Romney a 20-point win in 2012 never warmed to Trump's populist message, barely handing him a win. This is a message that we can send about and opening the door for a Democrat like Ossoff. There are certainly folks in the community here who are concerned that uh, the White House uh, may not be competent, uh, that there's dishonesty, uh, that the president may embarrass us on the world stage. I share those concerns, but this campaign is about uh, a positive vision. Even with an army of volunteers and an extraordinary $8.3 million fundraising haul, Ossoff faces tough odds. For John Ossoff to win is for a district to behave unlike what it is at its core of, of, its, of its being. This is a Republican district. This is not a 50-50 district. Trump has yet to endorse one of the race's 11 Republican candidates. But many, like Bruce Lavelle, head of Trump's diversity council, want to be associated with the early days of his presidency. We've done a tremendous amount. So um, I think the six could gain a lot from a person like myself as a congressman that has that great relationship. Strong contender Bob Gray sees reaching out to passionate Trump voters as a winning path, hitting back on Democrats' claims that voter enthusiasm is on their side. The fact that the Democratic Party is trying to make this a referendum on Trump is bringing out even more folks. If none of the candidates emerges as the majority winner on April 18th, the top two will move on to a runoff election in June giving more time to debate the Trump effect. It's like a magnetic field. It, it can both attract and repel. Democrats hope that will work in their favor. Katherine Gibson, VOA News, Roswell, Georgia.